Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the constrained layout and some of the items we're trying to create for a game. So what we did last video was we set a button in the center of the screen, three text views that were near the top, and hiding between the text view and the edge of the screen was this progress bar. So as you can see in my component tree, I don't have any custom names for my items, so I'm going to change those now. So let's uh, go into Button Start and uh, click at the top here and give them a name. The second one, which is actually on the right side, is going to be for the text view score. So TV score. The third one, which is the center, we're going to call him TV, and this is where we're going to display the questions. So we'll call him text view underscore questions. So now you can see that we have new names in all of our uh, components. If we were going to the text view, we would see now that the ID name is now Progress Timer, TV Timer, uh, TV Score. So TV does not stand for television, it stands for text view. And then the other one is TV Questions. So now the next step is I'm going to put in a grid where I can put in four buttons. So if I were to go into the layout section, you can see that I have a table layout. And you're wondering where the grid is. Well, there is a grid view in the legacy section. So I could use grid view, but it seems like they want us to use table view now with the newest version of Android Studio. So let's put a table view into here. So we drag it in, and now I want the table view to be beneath these four X, uh, text buttons and uh, about mm, square. So let's, uh, let's do the, uh, first of all, the constraints. So I'm going to drag this to the left side, and then I'm going to drag the other to the right side and the top view should touch the text view. So let's see if I can get that right. Doesn't look like I got it right. So let's go into the text editor and see what happens. So we got this table layout. The constraint, let's see what we got here. End to the end of the parent. Start to the start of the parent. Good. Now the top is to the bottom of TV questions. Well, amazing. I got it right. So those are the constraints for setting his height or at the top and the left and the right. Let's go to the uh, actual layout width. Let's make that match the uh, parent, so match constraints. And the height, I'm going to actually put in 400 dp. And now we have ourselves pretty much a square. It's not going to be always square, but we'll have 400 for the top and the bottom height. Now for the uh, rows, I'm going to have two rows of buttons, so I can take these last two and delete them and insert some buttons into row one and into row two. So let's go into the buttons area and I'm going to drag in a button. I could put the button here and you can see that it doesn't actually fall into the place I wanted it to. So I'm going to drag this up into the table row. The second button I'm going to add to this, I'm going to just drop it into the table row. And so now you can see I have two buttons in this row. Now I want to spread them across so that they are filling the whole screen. So let's uh, try a few things. Let's go to uh, layout uh, weight or layout something. Yeah, layout weight. So relative to the other items in my row, how much is this going to count? I'm just going to assign them an equal number. So this one gets a 1. The other button gets a layout weight of 1. And so they balance each other out now. Let's try the height. There is a height button. So I'm making my uh, grid 200 uh, pixels high, wasn't it? No, it was 400. So I'm going to set this to 200, which is half. And so now we have two buttons side by side. Let's add two more for the other row. So I'll drag this to the table row. And now I have buttons 6 and 7. Let's do the same process here. So these are going to be the answers to the quiz. So let's rename these buttons so that they can be programmed uh, in Java later. 
So for button 5, I'm going to rename him as BTN, and we'll call it Answer 0. So I've renamed them all as Answer 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now finally at the bottom of my screen, I want to have a message box so I can tell the user if he got a right answer or tell him a good score. So that would be another text view. So let's take a text view item and drop it here. This time I want to have the text view anchored to the bottom and to the left and to the right. So let's also change his text size so we can see it nicely. Let's check the uh, text and find out if this was indeed what I intended. So the text view has been constrained to the bottom of the parent, the end of the end of the parent, and start to the start of the parent. So that looks pretty good. Now in the original design of my program, I had a nice color scheme. Where did I get these colors? Let's take a look at some artistic help. I've got a website called Flat UI Colors. Let's take a look through here. You can see that they have a whole bunch of palettes of colors that they think are nice. So I'm looking for something in this little bit muted range. Let's go into the German palette and see what we can do there. So if I wanted to use these four different hues of bluish green, uh, I could just say copy this and it told me that I copied a text or uh, hexadecimal code. So let's go into the button color here and see if we can use that. So where was the background color? I'm going to paste in that value that I pressed. Oh, now I have a nice uh, blue color. Let's switch back and do the next one. So I'm going to copy and let's go into the next button and tell it that background color. So now I have four colors that blend quite nicely together. Now my green looks a little bit ugly, so let's go back and pick a color for our Go button. It's difficult. Why can't I paste my green Go button? I could always just come over to here and click it, and then I can come back into the colors. And so now I have four colors plus a green and I'll trust the artists to make sure that those were what they thought blended well together. Lastly, I want to change the text of everything to white on these buttons, and this looks like I have my uh, layout pretty well set up and ready to run. So in the next video, let's go through and wire some of these buttons up to some code and see if we can create a game.